Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel here on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, I'm just playing this gold. Uh, from what I understand, if they haven't done it already, they're completely redesigning the, the Honor of Golden Melody. So I'm glad I have a an oldie. Uh, just going to make them different now. Um, hey, so thanks for watching my video yesterday uh, on the first chapter of the Gospel of John. Um, uh, one thing I want I want you to know, like I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not doing this to be like religious or or uh, any, I'm just trying to spread the gospel is all. I'm just, I'm not trying to, uh, be, be holy, like a holy roller or nothing, you know. I'm just, uh, sharing the gospel, uh, cause that's part of my job as a, as a, as a Christian. Um, and you know, if people, if people don't want to watch the videos, that's fine. And if, you know, like, of course it's fine. Like, I'm grateful if anybody watches any of my videos, you know? Uh, it's just, yeah. I just want people to know I'm not this, you know, this... This is just a little series I'm doing in the channel, you know? Um, I think it's important uh, to spread the gospel. And and uh, this is the best... This is the best book to start in. So... Uh, we're going to read chapter 2 of uh, the Gospel of John right now. And this is a pretty cool chapter. Some cool miracles happen and stuff. Right off the bat. Uh, <clears throat> the next day, there was a wedding celebration in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the celebration. The wine supply ran out during the festivities, so Jesus' mother told him, They have no more wine. Dear woman, that's not our problem, Jesus replied. My time has not yet come. But his mother told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars used for Jew Jewish ceremonial washing. Each could hold 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. When the jars had been filled, he said, now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants followed his instructions. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though, of course, the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first, he said. Then when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine. But you have kept the best, best until now. This miraculous sign at Cana in Galilee was the first time Jesus revealed his glory. And his disciples believed in him. After the wedding, he went to Caper Cap Capernaum for a few days with his mother, with his mother, his brothers, and his disciples. It was nearly time for the Jewish Passover celebration, so Jesus went to Jerusalem. In the temple area, he saw merchants selling cattle, sheep, and doves for sacrifices. He also saw dealers at tables exchanging foreign money. Jesus made a whip from some ropes and chased them all out of the temple. He drove out the sheep and cattle, scattered the money changers' coins all over the floor, and turned over their tables. Then, going over to the people who sold doves, he told them, Get these things out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a marketplace. Then his disciples remembered the prophecy from the scriptures. 
passion for God's house will consume me. But the Jewish leaders demanded, what are you doing? If God gave you authority to do all, to do this, show us a miraculous sign to prove it. All right, Jesus replied, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. What? They exclaimed. It has taken 46 years to build this temple and you can rebuild it in three days? But when Jesus said this temple, he meant his own body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered he had said this, and they believed both the scriptures and what Jesus had said. Because of the miraculous signs Jesus did in Jerusalem at the Passover celebration, many began to trust in him. But Jesus didn't trust them because he knew human nature. No one needed to tell him what mankind is really like. So yeah, just a short chapter, but, you know, Jesus' first miracle, turning the water into wine. Um, chasing the money changers out of the temple, you know. It's a pretty, pretty short chapter, but it's pretty uh, dynamic, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I... I, I just wanted to say, you know, like I, 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 uh, when I started doing the, like when, yesterday when I, when I decided to do this, um, you know, I expected, I expected to lose subscribers right off the bat. And, uh, and I did, I lost two subscribers within minutes of it posting <laughs> and, uh, but, um, uh, then when I woke up this morning and looked at my analytics, uh, I I jumped up to 777 subscribers. So I feel like I got I got the anointing to do the to do the do this series <laughs> on that. So I don't know. Anyway, I you know it's like anything that you post on YouTube. Some people are gonna like it and some people aren't. You know. And the way I've always run my channel is I'm just going to do what's on my heart. You know, I'm going to do it uh, it's for the last five years or six years, whatever, how long it's been. It's been my, it's just been uh, the, <laughs> the story of my life, you know, and uh, this is part of the story of my life. So I just wanted to share the gospel with you today. Um, we're going to continue in this, uh, I'm not going to do it every day, but, you know, when I'm in the mood, I will, <laughs> I'm going to do it at least, at least a couple of times a week. Uh, but we got 21 chapters to get through. We got 19 left and, uh, then we'll, then I'll see what else, what else I got. See what people are saying, all that. Um, but yeah, I highly encourage you to. To read the read the Gospel of John. This is the New Living Translation. Um, it's a very I've never read the New Tra Living Translation Bible. Um, it's it's just a really easy to, easy to read uh, translation. I think it's written for like a fifth fifth grade reading comprehension or something like that. Um, you know, the King James version is pretty like uh, like the Hermit. Uh, uh, said in a comment, he said, uh, you know, reading, reading the King James version is like reading Shakespeare. And it is, it's written like, that's, that's Shakespearean English, you know, um, kind of the same era, right? When that was written. Um, and a lot of people just can't get you know, you start reading it, and it's like, I can't read this. This isn't even English, man, you know? Um, so there's, you know, there's been a lot of translations over the years, and some of them are good, and some of them are really bad. Um, you know, but some of them are really good. Most of them are really good. Um, and from what I've heard, the New Living Translation is a very good translation. And uh, so, yeah.
anyhow, you've all probably stopped watching by now. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, God bless everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, and yeah, well, leave you know, leave leave a comment, leave your thoughts on on this if if you're enjoying it. If you're not, whatever. Uh, yeah. God bless you all and have a wonderful, wonderful.